I've been listening to Elenium and Seven Lions for many years now, as a lot of us have because they are quite popular. And you know a song is by them immediately when you turn the song on and get hit in the face and engulfed with all these amazing euphoric atmospheres and melodies and harmonies. And so I was listening to Rush Over Me by Elenium and Seven Lions today while I was at the gym. And I was wondering why their music was so unique and beautiful and what all these movements were around all of the instruments like the chords and the melodies. And so today I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do to make your music more encapsulating and beautiful using this insane trick I learned from listening to countless Elenium and Seven Lions songs over the years. But the only way this video is going to be of any value to you is if you watch this entire video from beginning to end without skipping over any parts of this video because there is detailed information in every little second of this video. And if you can do that, your music, I guarantee, will come out sounding at least 20% better just after watching this video. So our chords that we have today are an F chord, an A minor chord, and a G chord. Originally, the chords looked and sounded like this. But what I did is I inverted them and I put the bass note of the chord up an octave. This is the same bass notes that you just saw me put up an octave. So now the, the inverted triad sound like this. And then it loops around and does the same thing. So the first little atmospheric sound was a delicate little pluck that is kind of dancing in the background but over the chords. All right, so I'm gonna take a Nexus 3 sound that sounds like that. It's a nice, pretty little pluck with a lot of reverb and a lot of emotion. You can really do a lot with this. And the key to this is to make it very spaced out and airy. So I'm not going to have notes back to back like this. I'm actually going to put the next sequence of this counter melody over here. And we have this nice big gap here. And the purpose of that is that we don't want too much energy. So our melody sounds like this without adding our next effect to it. Very, very beautiful, but watch this. I was listening very closely to it and I heard a nice little echo of each of those little melodies. And so what I did is I turned on delay, or in other words, an echo that is triggering at every bar. So a one over one fraction. So you can hear that echo, that nice, delicate little echo. Oh my God, so beautiful. And then obviously do as you wish with the reverb. So now we're gonna do the next little sound that kind of wraps everything and ties everything together into this single soundscape and just makes everything just all the more beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Serum. So I have my Serum here and I'm gonna click Initialize Preset. And I'm gonna come into this list here and just move down to an MB saw. I'm just gonna make a super saw by jacking up the unison to something my CPU can handle. And that's about it. Now we're gonna start drawing the notes and I'm gonna show you the amazing little instrument that this is gonna create. I just copied and pasted those and put them an octave below. And I'm gonna copy and paste them again. So we're gonna add a channel EQ and it looks like this, the filtering that I have on this EQ. It's gonna make our sound sound like that. If you're in FL Studio or Ableton, just slap on the uh, basic EQs that are in e either of those DAWs and go ahead and make your filtering look like this. The next thing we're gonna do is we're really going to beautifulize the sound. And watch how we do this. We go into the effects tab of Serum turn on the reverb and then I'm just going to put the decay up to eight seconds and I'm going to put the size all the way up. And then we put the mix knob 
up like that that's a little too much decay it's going to get really messy when it comes to mixing so i'm going to put that back down to uh, around five seconds but now i want you to add a single band eq or a filter and the type of filter that we're going to use is a high cut filter so i'm going to try to make this slope a little bit weaker and see if we can get rid of some of that resonance If I were to automate this knob to move up and down slowly like that, it kind of gives you this sense like the atmosphere is breathing up and down. It's just a terribly beautiful sound uh, when you can really make that work in your songs. But there you go, guys. That's an insane atmospheric soundscape trick that I learned from listening to countless Elenium and Seven Lions songs. If you want to learn more about making chords and sound designing drones and counter melodies and everything else you can imagine learning about music production, come join me in the EDM bootcamp. I got a link to the bootcamp at the top of the description and stay tuned for next video.